So today we are going to be looking at the Nike Kyrie 3. I'm taking you guys with me on the workout real time. If you enjoy the video, if you enjoy this style, if you find the video helpful, hit that thumbs up button. It really does go a long way. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything. We do a video every single weekday, Monday through Friday. Also, if you want the Kyrie 3, they're available right now, 120 bucks, and I'll put a link in the description. I've been hooping in the black pair for a couple weeks now, so I already have a really good feel for them. But right now, we're just gonna take you guys kind of through the workout a little bit, and I'm gonna break down each category of the sneaker and kind of give it to you in real time. Let's get it on. So we just stretched out. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of form shooting just to get things, just to get the stroke feeling good. And I wanna talk about the fit on this sneaker a little bit. Definitely true to size. It does run a little bit narrow through the middle of the foot, but I feel like once you break them in, that's not even so much of an issue. If you have super wide feet, probably not gonna be a good shoe for you, but they're not overly narrow. Like I think KDs run much more narrow. Um, and then just as far as comfort goes, it's decent. It's, uh, it's nothing special. Obviously it's not an overly cushioned shoe. And so you can definitely feel that on foot. So as far as the fit, true to size, decent comfort. The court feel on these is absolutely excellent. I mean, it practically feels like you're on the court, like you're almost not wearing anything. That's awesome, you know, as far as court feel and as far as responsiveness goes. Now, impact protection wise, you take a hit. Impact protection, practically non-existent. I mean, it really just isn't even there. Like I mentioned with the court feel, you're right on the court. There's almost no cushioning. You know, like the ball of your foot, like when you're, when you're raising up, when you're planting, I mean, you can feel it. The ball of your foot is like right there on the floor. So, like I mentioned before, that is going to take a toll in the impact protection department. You know, it's like there's pretty much nothing there. It almost feels like you're landing right on the floor. There's a little bit more, there's a little bit more in the heel, but man, on the ball of the foot, which is as a basketball player, that, that's where you're at most of the time is, is the ball of your feet. And it's just not there. Now, having said that, I don't think Nike, it's not like they failed. They didn't try to make it some super cushioned shoe and it was a swing and a miss. They know how Kyrie plays. They know what he likes and this shoe is for him, so it makes sense that it's not crazy cushioned. The traction on these, the traction on these is very, very good. Inside, outside, like I said, I've been hooping in the black pair for a couple weeks now. So I've played not only outside, but inside as well. And the traction is awesome. I really, really, really like the traction.
the lockdown is good, it's not great. I feel like the lockdown is much better in the front of the shoe than in the back of the shoe, if that makes sense. Like, there's just a little bit of slippage somewhere in the back, and the shoes don't stay laced as tight as I would like. Like, you know with some sneakers, you lace them up, and one time, and for two hours, you're good, you're locked in. These, I feel like 15, 20 minutes in, or you know, after every drill, or you know, after every 50 shots, you know, it seems like it's kind of coming loose a little bit, and that's never a good thing. So, um, it's not bad by any means, but it's not phenomenal either. The support is good, but I feel like the support on these is kind of in two parts. There's the foot support when you change direction and just the shape of the shoe and you know the outrigger and how they have it, the outsole basically almost just like curve up almost onto the upper part of the sneaker or onto the midsole. So changing direction and just running around and moving and just most basketball movements, the foot support is actually amazing. On the ankle, I would say it's just okay. So it's kind of like, I feel like the support is kind of in two different aspects or two different elements. The foot support has to be there and it kind of, that almost transitions into the ankle. Like if, if a shoe doesn't support your foot, then obviously like that's the foundation. Like anything building up from there is not gonna be good either. So I don't think that it's actually like, you know, dangerous as far as the ankle goes. I just think that the ankle support is nowhere near as good as the overall foot support. Always end on a couple made free throws. Pressure. Overall, I like the Kyrie 3. I'm not crazy about it. It's not my favorite basketball sneaker right now. It probably won't even be in my top three rotation, but it is a good sneaker. And with the price point being where it is, I think a lot of players are gonna like this, especially guards, especially quick players, especially players who, it all depends what you're looking for in a shoe. You know what I mean? If, if, you, if your priority is traction and uh, court feel, this is gonna be a really, really good shoe. If you're a guy who loves impact protection, then maybe it's not the right shoe for you. These sneakers are made for a particular player. Of course, they want all players to like them and to be able to play well in them, but they are molded for a specific person. You have to understand that. So with Kyrie, with his game being where it is, obviously for him, he's not really an above the rim guy. He's not a particularly big player. He's not a heavy player. So for him, court feel and traction is probably the most important thing there is. So if you're a player like that, you know, judge your own game, reference your own game. You know, what are the things that, that you look for in a shoe? You know, I'm just another basketball player giving you my thoughts on them, giving you my on-court experiences in them, and hopefully that does help you and gives you kind of something to go off. But ultimately, you have to make the decision. Are these strong points, are those things that I really look for in a shoe? Or, you know, because some people don't care about impact protection. My brother doesn't really care about impact protection. He likes traction, he likes support. You know, he puts those things above impact protection. For me, I put impact protection at the very top. It really does depend on you. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate you guys coming through this basketball workout with me. Hopefully you enjoyed the new style. More videos coming soon, so stay tuned. And until next time, Mr. Former Simpson, I'm out of here. I said you've got to end on two pressure free throws, but every player knows that it can't just end with that. You gotta hit the game winning three. You gotta hit the game winning three before you go home. Got him! Got him! If you like sneakers and you like dope shit, you are going to love this channel, I promise you. We upload a new video every single weekday. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything.